This is the ultimate plasma jig. This is a jig that is used to attach to a handheld plasma torch to allow you to cut circles on flat and non-flat surfaces to help coat pipe and do a multitude of other radius type cuts. This model here is a model 7540. 75 standing for the degree of angle of the handle, 40 standing for the amperage of the unit that is going to be installed onto this fixture. This is an ICE 40 handle on a Hobart plasma. This handle is pretty common for most Miller, Hobart, and a multitude of other handheld plasmas throughout the industry. I will now proceed to install the fixture onto the handle. I have already removed a bolt from the back saddle clamp and loosened the bolts on the front saddle clamp. Now I will slide the handle into the back saddle clamp and the front saddle clamp and I will put the cap of the back saddle clamp over the top of the handle and reinstall the bolt that I previously removed. Now I'm going to try to evenly tighten all the bolts finger tight. It is imperative that you leave the trauma point approximately a sixteenth of an inch lower than your drag tone or your tip on your whichever model of hand plasma that you're using. Once this is a Achieve. You need to lightly tighten approximately about a half of a turn on each bolt with a wrench. It is very clear that you need to not over tighten because this could damage your cone of your handle or the back of your handle. Once this is all achieved, then you will set the distance from the tip to the trommel point, which is the radius of whatever size of circle you or hole you are going to be cutting. We have already preset this by loosening this set screw and sliding this trommel point back and forth to 7 eighths of an inch for the demonstration that I'm going to do now to allow the extension 3 quarters pipe to slide through the hole. On this piece of plate, I have pre-punched three different center punch marks that are the centers of the hole that I anticipate this pipe to go through. And now I will proceed to burn the holes in this to show you the ease and the functioning of the basic use of the Ultimate Plasma Jig. One key point when you are clamping pieces to your table, it is always best to use a clamp that is low profile as to, not, to allow to not snag your hose while you are trying to rotate your handle. I will proceed to, to set my chromal point in the first center punch mark and swivel it around and show you the rotation of how the hand plasma will work. Now that you've seen this, I am going to now proceed to burn three, three holes in sequence with each other to allow for basically three different pipes to protrude through each one of these holes in this piece of plate.
you can see the jig is fairly efficient and fast about being able to move from whole, one whole place to another whole place to allow you to cut multiple holes in, of the same size in a short period of time. Also, you can notice that it is close to CNC quality and the capability of, of the actual diameter of the hole and how it is consistent all the way around as to how the pipe is, is held into place. With this, this is the basic operation of the Ultimate Plasma Jig. There are a multitude of other things that can be done with this, such as cutting large radiuses, cones, coping pipe, cutting slots. As far as I'm concerned, the ideas that you could use this for are endless. But this will conclude the instruction videos of how to install and the basic circle cutting of the Ultimate Plasma Jig. I hope you have a good time and enjoy the fixture if you have purchased one. Thank you.